Hello and welcome to Rise and Shine with Alyssa. I am your hostess, Alyssa Bicar, the Consultress, here bringing you innovative conversations from the front lines of entrepreneurship, investing, and parenting. Because that which we do for ourselves, we are then experienced to pay forward and give to the world. So game on, right? In this age of disruption where nothing is normal and going back to anything we already knew, we get to review and renew everything to move forward and create new value in the world. Isn't that what entrepreneurship is all about? <laughs> so today I would love to introduce you to, for a second time here on Rise and Shine, my, one of my favorite people on the planet, collaborator and uh, partner in crime, as it were, creating new things to bring that innovation live to you in ways that can move the needle in your life. So Ulrika Dietman, welcome to Rise and Shine once again. Hi, Alyssa. Hello. Happy to be here. Oh, God. So good. <laughs> so good. So good. I have these little outbursts where I just sing songs. Um, but, uh, you know, you and I found each other way back when, when we were working on ourselves so that we could be in alignment to work on our businesses. And since yeah. then, we've masterminded together. We've worked on projects together. And you're cooking up some amazing value that is emergent and absolutely necessary in today's world. Um, you're like, you've been known as the horse whisperer, helping horses whisper to humans and help them evolve and align. So tell us a little bit about how you came to this passionate, connected, spiritual work that moves mountains for many, for thousands at this point. Oh, okay. I love horses. I've grown up with horses and I always felt a little alien in the human world. I always felt that I could communicate with animals, horses, or any animal much better than with humans. So yeah, my life was spent in kind of finding my place in the human world, but never really found it until I found out that horses are spiritual beings, all animals are spiritual beings, and they can be messengers of the divine. And that really changed my life forever. I learned that from Linda Kohanov, an American who teaches that, who wrote a best-selling book about it. I did a training with her. I brought that to Germany. I trained many trainers myself. I've been doing that for 15 years now. I've seen what it does. I've seen what it does to me. So this is what I bring to the world because it is something that comes from outside the human world. It's through a connection with animals and with animals you find the authentic and you find, find an authentic spirituality. Oh, God, authentic <laughs> spirituality. It it has it comes to me and it rings this bell of like this trying and this pursuing that i feel in some of the spiritual um ways of going about things these days about how it's, it's it feels like you're morphing yourself into a pretzel to try to figure things out and using your head what you just said about um divining messages from the spirits inside of like nature itself Mm -hmm. To me, it has always felt like a coming home. When I moved from the coast into, um, you know, the rolling hillsides in the country, I felt this like ease and presence that I couldn't describe. It was almost like I wasn't standing on shaky ground or like shifting sand anymore. It felt really like I had been planted so that I had more stillness and more clarity in my life. Mm -hmm. um, so when you say you're um, talking about like interpreting messaging from nature to be able to empower humans, um, say a little bit more about the results you've seen when people kind of get into this clearer space. Yeah, well, well, for me, this is a very practical work. This is something I do every day for 15 years and I've seen it in all stages. I know how to bring people in. I know how people develop. I know how people become trainers and pass it on. And the one thing is, that in if you do spirituality with humans there's you easily get into spiritual bypassing because the ego is so big because the need for appreciation is so big that you take the spirituality and and, and blow your ego up with it and that cannot happen with you with animals and especially not with horses who are much bigger than you because animals are seeking the authentic they make you very very grounded if there's anything that is not authentic that is comes from a conditioned self they will show you and they will with horses they even will show you in a very severe way they might kick you they might bite you they may, they they just show you because they show you the need for authentic they show you that the authentic is is what you need basically for survival and this is the gate to to growth, to connection, to healing, 
yeah it's something it's something very very severe in a way in a way yeah and i i, I love a hearing that you said um spiritual bypassing has a lot to do with our egos mm -hmm. how we want to become self-important and our desires to reaffirm for ourselves that we matter because it's coming from this baseline of like i have to prove that i matter because somewhere inside i feel like i don't and that that's the ego fighting for meaning and what i'm hearing you saying um in your practice and in your experience with working with animals is that mm -hmm. that ego has got to be subservient to your authentic yeah. spirit and yeah. your authentic yeah. way of being because yeah. that honestly it's, it's who you are versus how you've learned to cope with this world Absolutely, and it brings it. you from ego into like yeah. a, almost like that relaxed state of just nothing to change nothing to prove which is something jesse elder says all the time when you can get to that state where you're not trying to prove something so you're not overdoing it so that you can you know make up yeah. for this lack somewhere um and i mm -hmm. i really feel that um in business we tend to create products that we ourselves have benefited from and learned from to be able to either pay forward to the world or and here's the entrepreneur trap it's what we're trying to prove by doing these things that we are enough and you can tell can't you when you're out there in the world and you feel someone who's marketing something that is like to prove who they are and to like like shake everybody awake that this is the truth but truth really feels a lot more like duh obviously that's true <laughs> so in business we tend to use the that ego to puff out our chest and to provide services or we provide services from that aligned space of here's been my experience i've found it valuable so i'm going to share it and it has a very different tone to it so well, the, well the, thing, the thing is the thing is when you do entrepreneurship from a conditioned place you're going to burn yourself out you really quick if you come for, from this, I have to prove myself something. I have to prove my parents. I have to prove my my community something. You're going to burn yourself out very quickly. And and what the if you stay in the connection with the animal, what the animal does, it connects you with your wound. It connects you with your pain. It connects you with your hurt. And it's very direct with that. And that's something that we humans avoid. But in the connection with the animal, it's going to go it's going to go right there. And when you go there, there's going to be healing. So you get a whole different view on entrepreneurship. Because why are you being an entrepreneur in the first place? Why do you want to bring out something to the world in the first place? Do you want to bring it from a place where I have to prove myself from an ego place? Or like you say, do you, do you want to bring it to the world because you get some in inspiration from the divine that feels really authentic because you're being connected with your life purpose and all of that? And that really is a big work. It's, a, it's an everyday work. It's for me, I do it since 15 years, but I, I, I fall into, into many traps every day. I learn so much every day. But when you connect with this authentic entrepreneurship becomes something really flowing, easy, inspired, creative, and you have a lot more energy. A lot of times people say to me, I, I, don't, I don't believe how you can do all these projects that you're doing. You must be three people. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not really working. I'm just inspired. I wake yes. up and there's I'm 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 receiving something and I think oh my god the world needs to needs to know that if I don't tell them they will never know because I have this information and only I have this information just like every entrepreneur has unique information and a unique calling and that's what drives you to bring out your unique calling because you know if you don't do it it's going to be lost for the world yeah that's oh <laughs> yeah right if that ain't a kick in the ass right like if you don't do it no one else is going to there's no one else that is getting your inspiration that is yeah. get, getting your insight because of the experiences you've had that bring you yeah. to the place to have that insight right now like we are living yeah. in that age of disruption where technology is getting exponentially faster so the it's clearing the deck of all the externalizing of our value, oh, somebody else is going to do it because the things that someone else or some things else can do are not your calling. So we're being confronted right now in this day and age Absolutely. very much to, so. yeah. to know what that actually is because there's less places to hide. There's less places yeah. to hide from that pain, from that wound that you were yeah. talking about. Because when we experience these 
I will call them learning experiences because, you know, I, I read a quote somewhere. Um, and again, I'm not, I'm like, it's in here. I'm not sure where I've got it from, but if someone can let me know where it's from, then great. But like our carved out pains and experiences are what expands our bandwidth to be able to meet other people when they're in that pain. So it becomes our gift to be able to relate to people and show them a way out because we have traversed those objects, uh, the, yeah. um, it's not, only, it's not only about your personal story and your personal uh, your personal pain. If you connect with animals, you you connect with an energy of we're all connected because that's what we what we really are. We're all connected, all living beings and all those divine beings. We're all we just live in a, in a field of of connection and unconditional love. So the other day I saw a documentation about Moses and how he was called to lead the people out of Egypt. And I think we're in a similar situation. We're called to lead the people out of slavery because we're in slavery of the technology and all of that, the, the technology that gives us security and safety. And yes, it's really useful. It's really helpful when we use it consciously. But beyond that, there's something else. And that was something that Moses had. And, and I think we, we all have that. We all have this calling to something. And if we come from this level from this energy from this attitude it's completely different and that's where animals connect us with it i find it really hard to connect with divine with the source or so the churches are really provided i don't know i've been searching for that all my life and i never found it in the way that i was seeking it and with the animals i found it because it's outside of the human it's not disturbed by the human interpretations and, and, you know, connecting there, you find this, this really authentic, authentic, authentic. It's such pure authenticity. And it, it communicates when people read your text, when they listen to your videos, they're going to feel it. They're, they're going to feel humans are able to feel that. And that's what I, I strive for, to always stay connected with this. It's not, I don't, I don't know, I don't make animals as gods. I don't... Um, adore them or you know make make them bigger than they are they're just messengers they're like angels they're just a a means to connect with us that's how, that's just how they're set up we're set up like that too we're animals too but we lost it because we live in this civilized world where we get so conditioned and we don't even notice it so the the, the calling is to get out of that civilization that is drowning us that is that is robbing us of our energy and get us get us back into that authentic um, being an identity yeah i'm german my my, my english is <laughs> and your english is beautiful i love it um but it gives us you're giving us a new frame from which to see what's possible uh, mm -hmm. einstein said and i know this one come from einstein <laughs> but said we cannot solve our problems with the same level of thinking that created them what i hear you describing is a new perspective a new way of seeing oneself one's value one's calling yeah. in a way that isn't um master or slave it isn't um you know boss and employee it's yeah. not um you know component part and big machine right it's yeah. transcending that industrial age thinking that we've all yeah. across the globe anyone alive right now is by default influenced and biased in industrial age thinking the yeah. nature yeah. calling us to help us connect authentically feels like a return to being able to hear yourself your calling yeah. more clearly because there's not this noise i loved what you said about um the human interpretations cause agitation they cause yeah. um you know confusion in a lot of people because i know yeah. for me i have in some cases assumed that because this was a saying or an idiom in life or this is what everybody considers normal experience then somehow i must be wrong or somehow i must be deficient because obviously yeah. everyone else is and you can insert this anywhere in life you can insert this in but, but i want to i want to grab this point Alyssa, because that's what people experience that feel this authenticity like they're born or naturally born or grew up with animals like me I was from from childhood. I was very connected with this authenticity, and I always felt wrong in the world. So most people who have this talent or this calling, they feel wrong, and they're being made wrong when they talk about it. So they don't talk about it. They keep by themselves, and they need a community of of like minded people or a teacher or a mentor that tells them you've been right all all along. 
it's not you, it's the civilization we live in that disturbs us so much. And then because what we learn from the animals or even from spirituality, it's not just, it's just, you know, the divine itself is so far away from the lives we live now. It's really, really far away. So if we want to get there, it's a long way to, you know, to really land there. It's a beautiful way, but it's a long way. We have to be honest about that. It truly, you put it so succinctly that when we, I mean, I don't, I don't think I can reflect any better. Just that being in your presence here today, right now in this conversation, I feel better. It's like, there's so many distractions that fill my mind with what do I have to do next? And, and what do I have to analyze? And again, getting stuck in that ego space or that fear and greed that we humans are kind of programmed to look for is that if, if we just simply strip away those things mm. and realize that there's more to life than that, if we step outside that paradigm and by the way, knock, knock, here's the tool, you know, you have lived this and you're, you are sitting in your authenticity talking about here's a road that I have found that yeah. opens up your potential. And then people look at you like you're superhuman. Look at all these yeah. things you're doing, all these accomplishments you've had, all yeah. these programs yeah. and trainings and things. Yeah. And it's not that you're three people. It's just that you have stripped away what's not you and yeah. you are practicing what you yeah. preach. Isn't that what we all want in someone to guide us yeah. into yeah. how we can practice what we want to preach? Yeah. 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 <laughs> High five. Right on. Yeah. I feel so I feel so understood by you. Yeah. I I, I really I really feel seen. And when I feel seen, it's just like a warm shower and a warm... <laughs> And that's what's possible for everyone. Whether you're an entrepreneur, an investor, a parent, someone yeah. who's inside of a community, all of this, you know, the more yeah. true to who you are the less we have to feel like we need to try to fit in. Brene Brown says it really well, is mm -hmm. that fitting in is actually, cre it actually creates, I forget how she says it, but trying to fit in is an abnegation of yourself. So you feel worse while you're trying to feel better. Yeah, but true. belonging is what we are actually seeking. And when we get yeah. clear about uh, authentically who we are, that fitting in, just happens naturally because it's actually called belonging well the yeah the the, the fit well if you try to fit in you're you're going to experience that you die a little bit every day you lose your energy you you lose your energy uh, a little bit every day and then you have to get to that point okay i'm gonna do my own thing now and and you're gonna meet big big fear of being alone of being thrown out of being disregarded of being judged of being called crazy you meet this fear and this fear is a sign that you're on the right path and, and if you have yeah. the courage to stay into that fear and not go, not go back into fitting in, which is easy, but stay there on this path, what you're going to find out is a real miracle. It's something you would never expect. You will find that suddenly people will see you, will love you, will invite you, that they will, all of that you thought would never happen is going to happen once you're being yourself. You're not going to find your own community of special horse loving or animal loving people, but also with all the other people here, they, they will feel your energy. Like I live in Jamaica. I live in, a, I'm a German. I live in Jamaica. I live in a very foreign culture. I don't know their rules. I don't know their communications. But when I'm walking on the streets, I have this authentic energy and people feel it. And they talk to me. I can talk to all. I travel a lot around the world, and and people can feel my energy. And immediately they connect because they feel they can trust me, and they can trust me because they feel I'm authentic. And then you belong, and then you find this belonging, and that's something so delicious. And that's something that gives you all this energy to be to be three people and doing so many. <laughs> yes. So. Um, I feel like we've had a four hour conversation in just a very short amount of time here. So um, I know that you're up to great things and that you're you're building this very community that you're talking about of belonging through using this technique that you've mastered around helping people to find that authenticity in themselves by confronting their superpower by coming through that discomfort with trusted resources that are not the normal everyday societal that comes with attachments and agendas so how can people learn more or connect with you and engage with what it is that you're creating because you're creating a whole new opportunity and universe 
with belonging and authentic living at its core. Yeah. Thank you, Alyssa. I've been do- I've been doing that in Germany for many, many years now. I built a community, it's really big and growing. And I got to the point where I thought I have to take it outside of the German speaking world and into the global. So I have to do it in English and I'm just starting with that. So what I offer now is you can have a free call with me, 30 minutes, speak with me and I will connect you with your spirit animal and will take you into this experience because I can tell you a lot of things, but what will open up your heart will be the experience and that's an experience where I don't tell you what what you are or what the truth is but I will connect you with the animal and the animal will speak to you and if you think no I I can't do that I can't speak with an animal I will help you to do that I know that everybody can and so I'm inviting you into that 30 minute free call and if you say yeah well this is what I've been seeking this feels like real good and true and right for me then we can take it from there that's that's where I'm where, that's where I'm at now. I'm, I'm yeah. here to start. And building a global community just yeah. like this. So I mean, you've heard it here first. She's beginning to create community, not just locally driven, but in this age of being digitally nomadic and being able to zoom across anywhere on the globe right now, you know, this woman's authenticity is drawing in a culture of real change makers to be able to know themselves and to be able to not push and prove but to be able to be and be of real value and service in this world so if you feel called that this is something that is right for you right now i invite you to go to ulrika's facebook page you can see ulrika dietman down at the bottom there and in the description of this video and you'll be able to connect with her facebook and ask her please can I have my 30 minute free consultation with you? Um, She's changed my life in ways that I had never seen coming and given me permission to be my most authentic self, even in service. So um, I am a big fan and I believe that her work is moving mountains in this world, especially now in the age of disruption where we need to create something that is grounded and authentic so that we can all live a better future together. So Ulrika, thank you so much for coming on to Rise and Shine with me this morning. And I hope you have an awesome day. And uh, I hope your inbox gets flooded with requests for consultations because the world needs you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. (laughs) So until next time, friends, we broadcast here every single Monday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern time. So please join me, subscribe to the channel, like and comment and don't miss another episode share this with a friend because the world needs this right now until next time friends same bat time same bat channel adios (laughs) bye